Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie, and today we're going to have a brief look at pasting images from the clipboard. The first thing we're going to do is create a new VCL Forms application, and I'm going to stick a button on it. This one's a bit bigger. And a T image. And I'm going to set auto size to true. Now what I'm going to do is paste an image in here from the clipboard. And to do that, uh, we're first going to need to use the clipboard unit. And we'll need a, need a um, t-bit map. If I could spell it right. Create out the map and then assign the clipboard. Okay, so that's nice and simple. We create a bitmap, assign what's on the clipboard to the bitmap, assign the bitmap to our image and then free the bitmap. Okay, let's run that and see if it works. Okay, first of all we're going to need an image. So here's the, the butterfly we did from the first training movie on icons. And we'll copy that to the clipboard. And we know it works. But, if I go and copy some text and paste it, uh, it didn't quite work as well as we'd like. In fact, it worked better than expected. I was thinking I'd get an access violation there, but anyway. So, how might we make this work a bit better? Well, um, we could uh, disable the button if there's not an image in the clipboard. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to add an action list. And add a new action. the map and so I'll execute and on update and in the uh, on execute I'm just gonna oops grab that that in there And the um, magic code we need is to check if the clipboard has format and it's CF bitmap in this case. So if I copy some text to the clipboard and run our application, uh, it didn't work because we didn't assign the action to the button. It looks better. Okay, now if we run it. We've currently got text in the clipboard, but if we go in to clipboard, we can now paste our bitmap again. Now, the clipboard can have more than one format at a time, so, uh, and the list of these formats, if I control click on this, it will bring up the, uh, the list of definitions. And I'm just going to copy um, be as far as we need. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to add a T list box and another another button. And in here, I'm going to paste all that text and let's tidy this up a little bit. So I'm just using Control Y to delete line. And 
now I'm going to introduce you to the wonderful world of macros. So we can press this little button down here to start recording one. And I'll stop that. So it's just left us with the constants. This next macro is a little bit trickier. If clipboard has format, and I copy that to the clipboard, then one dot add no, items dot add paste and stop and fingers crossed. Okay, and if we run this, we click on a button, we get a list of all the clipboard formats. And if we go back to our clipboard, now oh, accept. Last thing, and there we go. Okay, now for the last little thing, I'm going to load up Word and insert some Word art. And say, Delphi rocks. And I'll copy that to clipboard. And we'll notice we've got a bitmap. So we can paste that. But there's also these metafile um, variations. So let's add another button and another action. Paste a metafile. And go to our button. And go to on execute and on update. In the on update, or you do that one, or is it the enhanced? Enhanced metafile, which is probably a bit more appropriate. Um, and in here, I'm going to be lazy. And change this to T. And let's do a little bit of refactoring. Okay, so let's run that again. And we've currently got text on my clipboard. If I go back to my Word document, get copy, we can paste it as a bitmap, or we can paste it as a metafile. And metafiles are vectored and scalable and have lots of advantages over bitmaps. But um, it seems we've got bitmap and metafile, and we can just get back to our butterfly. And copy that. And we'll see now that paste to metafile is not available because it's not in the list. But we can paste our butterfly again. And that's all I wanted to show you today. So, to summarize, we looked at pasting images from the clipboard. We first needed to determine if the clipboard had a format we were interested in by using the has format method. We then used the assign method on a D graphic to assign the contents of the clipboard as an image. And finally, I showed you an example of using a macro. Macros are just an awesome way of avoiding repetitive tasks, and once you start using them, you'll be instantly hooked. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've learned something useful.